So finding this balance of effort and relaxation. Learning how to sustain that balance, how to tune into that balance. When you lose that balance, to recover that balance. Expressing that balance physically in the posture. Directing effort into the spine, the head, being just erect, but without strain. And allowing the rest of the body to relax around that central core. As I say, Warm up exercise can become aware of the sensations throughout the body from the head down to the toes together with the breath. One way to do this is to divide the body into four parts. The first, the head, face, neck. So as you're breathing in and breathing out, or the breath is entering and leaving the body in an unforced, natural way, bringing attention to whatever sensations might appear in that one area of the body. There will be a sense of tingling, or pressure, or warmth. Moving on to the second area of the body, the shoulders, arms, hands, fingers. Breathing in, breathing out. Imagining as if you can feel the breath in that part of the body. third part of the body, the trunk, the core of the body, the chest, the abdomen, the back, and from the base of the neck down to the coccyx or tailbone. Here the expansion and contraction of the body conditioned by the breath is clearly apparent. And the fourth area 
from the hips down the legs, knees, calves, feet, toes, feeling that part of the body awakening to that area of experience, physical reality. Just a very normal, everyday sensations that we are usually blind to or not aware of. And the fifth step, to be aware of the whole of the body, from the top of the head down to the toes, without choosing, being aware of the in-breath. As you breathe in, you know that you're breathing in. As you breathe out, you know that you're breathing out. Just awakening to whatever sensations are present. This is a good warm-up exercise to begin a meditation. Also be an exercise of um, re-establishing attention if you get sleepy or dull. Just to fully experience this physical reality as present sensation. You can also do a speed, speed it up version very quickly, just one breath, one in breath and one out breath, aware of the sensations in the head, face and neck, one in breath, one out breath sensations in the shoulders, arms, hands and fingers. One in breath, one out breath, the feelings in the trunk of the body, the central part of the body. One in breath, one out breath, the sensations in the legs and feet. One in breath, one out breath, sensations in the whole of the body. So this is just a five breaths re-establishment, grounding awareness in the body. Now we focus on one particular point in the body at which the sensation of the breath is clearest and most comfortable. And we make the our object, our goal to be completely present and awake without gaps for the whole duration of one in-breath, the whole duration of one out-breath. And then we start again. So we're making this a one breath at a time meditation, giving that complete interest and respect, commitment to just one in breath and one out breath. And there's just a potter making pots, makes one complete pot and then starts again another new pot. So make every breath a new fresh breath, a new beginning. Every now and again just checking the posture 
we're still sitting straight, we're still sustaining that balance of effort and relaxation. Let's check on the quality of the mindfulness. Is it too tight? Is it too loose? Is there a clarity there? Is there a, um, a flexibility and a strength? So as the meditation progresses, the mindfulness becomes stronger. But as it becomes stronger, have to prevent the softness and flexibility of mind from weakening or disappearing. So this is the art of meditation, constantly adjusting, fine-tuning the quality of our attention. As the breath becomes more shallow or more subtle, then the attention has to adapt in a way that prevents us from drifting into dullness, drowsiness. Maintaining the clarity of mind, brightness of mind, flexibility of mind. 